Okay, so tell me what's one thing you heard, one or two things you heard on your partner's list that you really liked? What were some really nice images or... You can just call them out, it's okay. Go ahead. Steam momos, oh wow. See, and that's a nice one too because that makes you think of cold weather and like it gives you everything kind of in one, right? Did everybody have breakfast today? Because we have a lot of food images also, right? <laughs> so yummy. Huh, I also had that down actually. The temple bell is a very like distinct sound, right? Um, hi, my name is Mathangi Subramanian. Uh, I'm the author of Dear Mrs. Naidu which is a middle grade novel and it's a story of a girl who grows up in a slum and her best friend moves away. So uh, it's a story of how she tries to get her best friend back. We discussed about various challenges that the lit teachers faced in their classes. Each class had students who were very reluctant you know, about reading. They were not interested in reading. So yeah, we discussed about uh, various skills which could, you know, sharpen the skills of uh, reading and they could also use those skills in writing. It was a very interesting workshop because we teachers got together and we discussed about how, you know, we can be creative and innovative. Sometimes students relate to things really well and you don't expect them to relate to. So with reluctant readers, sometimes you have to find like the thing that they like, which is not an easy thing, but sometimes it's not what you expect. And sometimes the writing comes from unexpectedly then connecting with something they like. I mean, I think doing exercises like this makes you a little sympathetic to your students, but sometimes what we ask them is actually kind of difficult, right? That doesn't mean they can't do it, but it means that they might struggle. The reason I got connected to Toxic is that I did a workshop about my book in Book Delhi in November and uh, there were a number of Toxic students at the workshop and they were very creative and participated very actively and so then the teachers approached me and asked me if I would come and do workshops. For all of us writing, like that first Getting started can, is the hardest part, right? Even like I write books for a living, and that being like, is like the scariest thing, not in my life, but one of the scariest things in my life, right? Just seeing nothing there. So sometimes having these templates are a good way to start, and then students can actually break away from the template after the first draft. So it's a really good point. We always using the same uh, concept of just plan, but when she can, right. she got us to actually plan using a descriptive okay. language, but she got us to write descriptive sounds smells, feelings, and sight, and so on. And that was a new way of planning, and it was interesting, and it was interesting to see how we could actually make our writing come to life using uh, some of her strategies. And it's been wonderful to be here. First of all, it's a beautiful place. As you can see in the background, it's like the perfect setting for a school and for being creative. There's just so much beauty and so many interesting things around. Um, and I really enjoyed being with the students. They're very creative and enthusiastic. And just today, uh, we were working on writing a poem in the ninth standard. And the class was so into writing, they didn't even leave when the lunch bell rang. So you rarely find that in schools and in students. So it's been such a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for having me.